is a two-dimensional momentum problem. In this one, it's an explosion. I've got an object and it breaks up into three pieces, a 1.5 kilogram piece going to the right, a 2 kilogram piece going north 30 degrees west, and a 1.2 kilogram piece going some direction. I want to know how fast is it going and in what direction is it going. We're going to use the same rules we use for all our momentum uh, problems. We're going to say the momentum before is equal to the momentum afterwards. In this case, I've got three objects, so I've got to account for A, B, and C. Well, the thing is, the object is not moving before. It's just sitting there and then explodes. So I can say the momentum before is zero. The momentum after, after the explosion, I've got three pieces and I've got to account for the momentum of all of them. And the momentum is mass times velocity. So in this case, I'm going to end up with MA VA afterwards. The momentum of A afterwards, that's this piece. The momentum of B and the momentum of C. So there's no momentum before. I've got the momentum of A, B, and C afterwards. And I've got all those except the momentum of C, so I'm going to be able to solve for it. So I put in the numbers. The momentum of A, well, let's call this piece A, is going to be 2 times 4 north 30 west plus momentum of B, this is B, 1.5 times 6 east plus part C is 1.2 kilograms times the velocity of C afterwards. So there's my unknown. At this point it's just a vector equation. We know how to add and subtract vectors so that's all we're going to do. So let's complete this. 4 times 2 is 8 north 30 west plus 1.5 times 6 is 9 east plus 1.2 VC afterwards. Um, I've got to rearrange this and solve for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, leave the 1.2 on one side, the velocity C, and I'm going to bring the other uh, vectors to the other side of the equation. That'll make this one negative and this one negative. But I'm going to do that and reverse the whole thing, so I hope that doesn't screw you up, but I will end up with 1.2 VC afterwards. That's staying on the same size it was, let's say, before. So it becomes minus 8 north 30 west, minus 9 east. All I'm doing here is playing around with the vectors, rearranging and solving for them. It actually has nothing to do with this problem. Here's a vector equation I need to solve for one of the unknowns. Now what I need to do is change the negatives into the positives and change the direction. 1.2 vc afterwards. The opposite of uh, 8 north 30 west will be 8 south 30 east. And I change negative 9 east into plus 9 west. If you're not sure what I'm doing here, check the video out on vector subtraction. So here's my answer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two up and then set them equal to this and then solve for VC. Instead of dividing by the 1.2 at this point. So what I need to do is I need to add a vector equation for 8 south 30 east that's 8 south 30 east and 9 west so I'm adding up these two vectors so I need to break this into components this becomes, this is the opposite side so 8 times the sine of 30 is 4 and 8 times the cosine of 30 is going to be 6 0.9. So when I add up two vectors, I break them into components, and I find the total, the sum of the vectors in the x direction, and it's going to be 4 to the right, so that's positive, minus 9, because that's negative, which gives me negative 5. So the total of these vectors in the x direction is negative 5. In the y direction, well that's going to be easy because I've only got one vector in the y direction. This has no y component, so that's down, so it's negative 6.9. I'm only adding up two vectors, I break them into components, I find the total in the x, total in the y, and then I put them back together to get the resultant. So in the x, it's 5 to the left, I don't need the negative because I've drawn it to the left, and 6.9 down. So there is my resultant of these two vectors being added up. To find the answer, I find the answer and say it's the square root of 5 squared plus 6.9 squared using Pythagoras. I get the resultant 
is uh, 8.52. Now I need a direction. It's going to be west so many south, so I need this angle. That's the inverse tan of opposite over adjacent. So the angle is the inverse tan of the opposite, 6.9 over the adjacent 5. So my angle is 54 degrees. So when I add this up, I get that the resultant is 8.52. Uh, what is that? West 54 south. Now what I got to do is, that's the answer for this. I need to set this equal to 1.2 VC and find out what the answer is. 1.2 VC afterwards is equal to 8.52 West 54 south. So VC equals, I hope this isn't cut off in the video, but it's, um, it is not there. Hang on. 7.1. So I take this, I divide by 1.2, and I get 7.1. 7.1 meters per second west 54 south. There's the final answer.